Officers needed to assist removing trapped civilians from a car wreck. Incident is active in Dutch Town. Over. I think that debris is trapping someone inside that car. so the professionals can get in. Totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. He's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. 
These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. Even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! Stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> oh, <coughs> feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> Thank you. 
I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Hey, May. Sorry. I think we were talking about Mr. Lee. I didn't upset him when I stopped by, did I? He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man. Can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You don't so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't... Don't kill me! Stand still! Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have my money! Sorry, not gonna happen! 
You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Catch! You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything uh, uh, Wait, did you say masks? These masks guys! What do they want the money for? Don't know! Don't care! Soon as that finish the job, I'm gone! Gotcha! Uh, 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 this one's gonna hurt! Give up now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I see! You son of a... Okay, last chance to give up! This time I really mean it! Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last, last chance. Seriously. Quick now, for your own good. on yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey! The Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh... Guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city.
Shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the fist case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Got it, boss. Tripling security. The demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. I need to deal with them first. Who's there? Junk scattered around here. A well placed web shot could make a great distraction. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. about gear. What does Fisk store here? Naming our packaging. This stuff's confusing. We got Z-23. Stand by. Check out. Only a decade or two. Been through a dozen different owners before him. Not the smugglers in the 80.
You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. sealed up the front, but I bet they didn't take as much care with the rest of it. There's gotta be a sneaky way in for a guy who can climb walls. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Got it! If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun! Genius! Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. That sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kind of anticlimactic, huh? Voice voice glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Check it out. I'm I'm all over you. I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lens is gonna pick on conduits. Hey, hey, 
I doubt I would have found it without you. <clears throat> I got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret book I've been anymore. Notice anything about the floor? They can hide the doors, not, not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Found, found a scrape. Oh, I guess normal doors don't count, huh? I can see anyway. Great. You'll be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight, tight. I'll pull you up. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big punk and rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. The landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Did that work? Yep, I'm on it. Did it open? No. This door must be hooked to another box. You're out of this mess for a long time, huh? He's my, my great white whale. This is Fisk's way of messing with me. Look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. There's gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. This mad men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on, bet on it. it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction. Door. Outstanding. You think you can help me out? This thing is heavy. One, one, two, three. Well, that, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. They dug the dug concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got, got room to maneuver here. Hang on. I'm blocked. Anything you can do? What was that? Go no, subway, maybe. Go no, tussle. Best place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No, no. That sounded like explosives. And that, and that sounds like demons. The vault. Hurry. Locks to get in. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll, it'll take both of us to stop them. Some of these. Move. Oh, 
Crazy. This keeps up. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis, 
we're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery excuse me miss are you supposed to be here more than you after that auction house thing the bugle put me on the city beat which means i get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons you know the closer you get to them the more you become a target right the closer i get the better chance we have to stop them we officer davis mary jane watson daily bugle no comment i don't blame you but these guys are going to tell their story with or without you and they thrive on controversy so what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 